Ah, uh, here we go. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Catarina's Garage. My name is Catarina Lloyd and well, we are on our way to Olds and then to Calgary because, well, I need to uh, drive some people to Calgary in the cab. He doesn't have another driver available, so I'm on the case. But God, these roads are a mess. I am slip sliding away. Whee! So yeah, no, this is not fun at all. Like the roads around here are worse than just about everywhere else at the moment. So it's not too, too bad. Like this could be a lot worse. Um, so yeah, I'm not too worried about it though, but um, like, We'll see how bad this is once I get out onto the highway. Um, Cause it's not good at all. And I'm already having a frost build up on the windshield already. Great. But uh, yeah, no. Um, so this is just a, uh, gonna be an interesting ride. It's not that cold. It's only like about minus 10, but it's minus 10 and then also, like, quite a bit of snow has been falling down, and the plows haven't been... Okay, yeah, no, I'm sliding a little bit. Yeah, definitely sliding a little bit. This is going to be fun. be very, very, very fun to drive this. Hopefully it clears up closer to Olds, because, yeah, I might have to turn back, because this is just... Ugh, Jesus Christ, I am fighting the wheel. I need to out here. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully y'all are having a better time than I am right now, because yikes. I should have just told my boss, no, this is sketch. Like, he said that, you know, um, that if it's too bad, I can call it off, but we'll see. I have the ultimate sort of, you know, I, I have all the say in this at this point, because... Yeah, this is my safety. <laughs> yeah, and somebody, okay, now that's dumb. Four ways on, but no lights on. That is dumb, dude. Like, if it's in, like, oh my god. Like, visibility. I mean, I can see that vehicle in front up there, but just barely. Like, yikes. Yeah, just go about 80 or so. And I'm getting more of the frost build up. Ah, shit, my sprayers are covered. There we go. Try that. Oh, this is just not good. <laughs> ah, this is bad. And the truck goes by, and I can't see a damn thing. Yeehaw! Yeah, you want... You want the worst freaking conditions? Well, here we go! Jesus. Like, this is not even the worst, but now, I mean, my, my freaking wipers are freezing up. So, what's happening is that it's kind of like streaking on the windshield. You know what? I'm gonna have to stop, actually, a little red, because I'm gonna have to smack the, uh, um, I'm gonna have to fix that, because I can't drive like that. There's just no... Like, can I see? Yeah, but I have to, you know, like, really look around it. And now, and actually, after I've gone down the sundry, the roads are a lot more bare. Like, there's still snow and ice in the else, but this is a much better. I'm not sliding near as bad. But, um, yeah, visibility still isn't, like, amazing, especially with the cars coming by. Like, I can't really see into the other lane as much because of it. Like, ooh -wee. This is, uh, this is fun. And I'm driving in my 81 Mustang. Cubic inch in line six, T5 manual, 88, so the limit of slip diff. Um, and that's one thing that I would not recommend. If you have a rear wheel drive vehicle and you don't have a limit of slip diff, I wouldn't even attempt to do this because you probably would have already spun out or gotten stuck by now. Because, um, yeah, like, and I've driven through conditions like this before, and it's not really like that big of a deal for me to drive. But again, I have a limit of slip diff, so it helps out a lot. And oh, is that a crash? Or did Buddy just stop? No, I think he just stopped. Where he's traveling extremely slow, but like, there's no need to be traveling quite that slow. Like, 
there you can have definitely should have a little bit of caution doing this and actually there we go um the uh the wiper is no longer streaking so i don't have to stop yay but this is just awful like holy crap weather like i just ugh, okay slow down a bit because i am catching these people in front of me and i don't want to go as fast as them only because like when the snow is really, really built up, I cannot see Buddy's taillights there. Like, and they keep getting slower and slower. Well, like, that's one thing. Like, these conditions aren't like visibility isn't great, but traction right now is fine. Like, as you can tell, the road is relatively bare, right? Like the middle, yeah, it's not good, but the rest of this is fine. So, thankfully. I have a Dodge Journey that's coming up in my ass. Like, dude, just cautionary tale, man. Plus, I think their four ways are on, too. Yep, they are. This is fun. And, like, if I wasn't, uh, wasn't called upon to, uh, you know, do this today, I wouldn't have even bothered. Genuinely. I would have just not come into work. slightest because yeah this is just not great you know and because the one thing is like I am perfectly comfortable with my driving but it's other people's right I don't know what they're going to do and like and not being able to see that well it's a cautionary tale this and like but like, I'm not really wanting for traction. I'm not really sliding all that much, which is good. But these people keep slowing down more and more in front of me. Like we're doing uh, about 70 right now. And like, and let's see, there is three vehicles in front of me total that I can see. Unless somebody's in between those two, which I don't believe there is. Cause it's a Bronco in front of me. And I think that's a Dodge Avenger. And it's like a Nissan Xterra or something like that up there. Something like that, but. Yeah, this is just fun. Now see, how many of y'all are actually turning? Okay, the Bronco's turning. At least I think that's a Bronco, unless that happens to be a Land Rover, but I'm pretty sure that's a Bronco. And there we go, just like that. But, um, yeah, ooh. Both hands on the wheel. Yeah, here we go, here's the sliding. Whee! <laughs> oh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, this is just brilliant. You know what? I'm gonna put up my four ways. Cause this is sketch. You know what's funny? The, my back glass was completely clear, but um, I can't see out of it now. Like, holy shit. Like, if this is anything like how it's gonna be on the QE2, this is fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steady. So steady as she goes, steady as she goes. So steady as she goes, steady as she goes. Yeah, cautionary tale, y'all. Um, but I'll be okay. Like, at least for this little leg of the journey, for sure. And then I'll get to be in the minivan, which, eh, I like, don't get me wrong, I actually like my minivan. Like, um, that I have for work. It's a good little van. 3.3 in it, you know. It doesn't really lack for traction all that bad. The traction control doesn't really fight you all that much. And it doesn't have like so much power that it's like doing burnouts everywhere it goes. <laughs> Cause that's kind of the issue with the 2015 is that it does that. It, it, it has like so much power. And oh God, I could barely see that freaking car up there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is one car in front of me. And I couldn't actually see it for a while, but now I can. See, and again, like, visibility is not bueno. Like, total visibility right now is 600 meters-ish. 
give or take, which is 0.6 of a kilometer for any of y'all that want to know. And 0.6 of a kilometer is about four, four tenths of a mile, something like that. Something like that. I don't know for sure. But that's just a rough estimation in my head. But like, Jesus Christ, this is just insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Insane in the membrane. <laughs> Yes, and I have a very unhinged brain at times, you know. I find this sort of fun in a way, but I would much rather be at home. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, if I'm doing this, then maybe I'm working tonight. Maybe I can go to Bulldogs. Um, go to Bulldogs, kind of mingle a bit, you know, have a good time, have some good food. Yeah, maybe do that on the way home. I don't know yet. It all depends on what, um, like, what Toby wants to do. Because I don't mind. Genuinely, I do not mind. If I'm working tonight, that's fine. Because today is Thursday, which oddly is actually going to be a busy night of Bulldogs. So, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, Thursday is one of their, like, big nights. Um, and now, like, I'm going to be basically working, like, Thursdays and Saturdays. But unless if there's, like, a run, like, an out-of-town run, that I'll be doing it on different days as well, if I'm needed. Other than that... I'm not going to be working much. Um, last week, I kind of found sort of my, like, breaking point. I was working just a little too much. My body was just way too overtired. I ended up actually having a migraine and then throwing up. Which, bear in mind, I actually have not thrown up in, like, four or five years. So, it's been a long time. And I don't like it at all. I just do not like doing that one bit. Cause I was actually in the tub and I was just, I was, you know, I was trying to take like Tylenols and stuff like that and nothing was working. And, yeah, migraines suck and I don't get migraines as often, but, you know, when I do, they are really rough. But, um, yeah, no, this is just, oh, and you turned in front of me, that's brilliant. You should have waited there, bud. Cause there's nobody behind me, at least I don't think there is. Actually, mind you, I couldn't even be able to tell because of the blowing snow and stuff like that behind my car. Yeah, like, you can barely see that car up there. Like, barely. And there are 400 meters in front of me? If that? Like, I'm just gonna let off the gas, because I can't... Yeah, I've just lost them. I can't see them. Okay, now I can see them again. Jesus. That's a scary sign, like, when you cannot see the car in front of you? Oh, holy shit. Yeah, this is fun. But, uh, if y'all are wanting an update on some stuff, well, let's see. So, which there will be a full sort of video on this coming soon. Of, okay. Um, a friend of mine, I just have to pay the shipping and he's totally fine with doing that. Oh my god. Freaking truck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so, I just have to pay the shipping on these, but they're actually iBlock one inch lowering springs, which will drastically change how that car drives. It won't have as much of a floaty nature, it'll be a little stiffer, um, which I'm okay with, as long as it's just like not too uncomfortable, which I don't believe it would be because it's only a one inch drop and I don't know. I have to look up the spring rates of those springs again, but I don't believe that they'd be, like, horrible for my setup. But they'd be a little stiffer, because uh, they're also a shorter spring. That's fine. Um, so, I'm going to get those within the next couple of weeks. I'm going to get those installed, and they'll be uh, fantastic in this car. Then there is the whole thing of, like, well, hey, I have that header that I've been holding on to for, oh gosh, since the summer, right? I, I picked it up in the late late summer and that'll get installed hopefully well I'll have that installed for sure before May 4th that is my goal that is my mission and it shouldn't be a problem to get it done then um because that's the first dyno day and I want like all the performance stuff to be done in my car and then also I've had these subframe connectors for like two years now um they're grip you know subframe connectors and basically I bought them for when I had my convertible, but since I no longer have my convertible, I'm gonna put them in this. 
And now y'all might think, well, why are you putting subframe connectors in an inline six powered Mustang? When in all reality, the reason why I would do that is just to make this a potent weapon when it comes to going around the track and stuff like that. And they should actually, like, it'll help with handling purposes. It'll uh, help with, um, uh, with launching the car as well. It'll help keep it strengthened underneath, which is good. If I ever decide that this car is gonna have a bunch of power, the subframe connectors will be a lovely addition. And if not, then no big deal, right? I always like to overbuild rather than underbuild my vehicles. It's just one of those deals. It's better to kind of do that just in case if you want to, you know, uh, it's preparing for potential more power in the future. And if it works out in the future, this, so not the actual engine that's in this car, it'll be my spare motor. Oh, whoa, whoa. If I get about eh, around 2,000 bucks, give or take, because that would cover shipping as well, and my buddy to actually do everything and whatever else. Um, because my buddy down in California, he is an engineer. He wants to do this awesome DIS uh, injection setup on my car. Um, and it would run off of like coil packs and you know like sensors within a distributor cap, stuff like that, right? And this whole setup, like he said it would cost me between four to six hundred Americans. So I'm like, okay. Um, so that's gonna be around eight hundred to nine fifty-ish Canadian, give or take. Um, and then plus shipping, whatever else. Shipping's probably gonna be like 300 bucks each way. Maybe even more than that. I don't know uh, how much it would actually be, to be honest. I'd have to look into that. But regardless, you know, that's kind of where we're at. And uh, yeah, so do that. And he actually says that, so I'd probably about double my horsepower and gain about 100 foot pounds of torque from doing this setup. Because I would have, you know, individual throttle bodies as well and I would have him do you know every single cylinder has its own throttle body um, every single cylinder has its own injector every single cylinder has its own coil pack I would just you know do it to the nines because he was doing a more simple setup where it would have been a coil pack for every two cylinders but this way it's like yeah so it'd be a multi-point fuel injection system that actually would work pretty well overall. And you know what, something I forgot, I didn't bring my food back, but that's okay. I don't know if I'll be picking up food on the way out, because I already ate, but then again, I am still kind of hungry, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, no, this is just awful. And it's interesting, because my car is actually running pretty warm at the moment, and I know why. It's likely that the rad is actually being covered up by all the snow and it's not able to flow as efficiently because of it with the air. So it's warmed up and oh, there we go. My uh, my thermostat just kicked in. <laughs> but I've got a 195 thermostat in this car, so it actually runs pretty warm. But, ugh, Jesus. What, just an awful, awful drive. But yeah, so, you know, get all that done and then my goal by the end of the year for this car is to have a cam in the car, to have the header on the car, to have the subframe connectors, to have the suspension in it, uh, to swap out my sway bars, to swap out the, you know, because I think there's some control arm bushings that probably need to be replaced on this car and whatever else. Because uh, I have some GT sway bars I want to put on this too. So that'll actually help a lot with the overall well, sway of the car, like the body roll. Um, it won't be amazing, but it'll be better, right? I'm working with what I've got. Now, if somebody wanted to donate me some really awesome sway bars, I mean, I wouldn't say no, but it's one of these things that, um, you know, and that's only if somebody wanted to actually like donate that and not say, oh, there's an ulterior motive to it. And they want like picks or something like that. Cause I don't do that. I just don't. I had actually somebody that wanted to send me a set of wheels they uh, they were like Cobra R sort of replicas, right? Or they may have actually been real Cobra R wheels, but they were four lugs, so my guess is no, they weren't real, that they were just, you know, aftermarket. Um, and 
then, but regardless, he was going to send these to me, but he wanted a picture of my ass. And I said, no, I don't care. You know, because genuinely all I'd use those wheels for, for track days. I'd throw them on the car to go to a track day with some decent tires, and then that's it. I wouldn't use those tires ever. Because I don't like the look of those wheels, to be honest. Uh, I just, I don't think they look, they wouldn't... It just doesn't match what I like on the car. Which, and this car, I love 14, 15 inch wheels. I love big wide meets. I love big tall tires that way. I like to see uh, a good tire profile. I don't like to see low profile tires on a vehicle that wasn't intended to have them. Uh, but that's one of those deals. Like that, that's just me though. I'm not saying that, you know, if you do that, that your car's like awful or whatever. It's just like, no. It's not. Um, and God, my windshield's getting bad too. I gotta need to get one of those by end of year, probably too. Ugh. Well, if it all works out um, as well, because like something. So, y'all might be wondering, well, what's going on with the Capri, with the Poltermerk, right? Well, the Poltermerk. I've, uh, I've decided that I am going to keep that car. I'm actually going to delete the ad. And I've got to talk to my buddy Keith to see if he is okay with me using that the 84 Capri as a parts car. I would pay him for it. Just need to know what he'd actually want for the car. Uh, I can't imagine it being like a ton. Because right now the Capri is not worth much. It's a rusty car. It doesn't run at the moment. It needs a fuel tank, and it's a fuel line, and it needs a carburetor, right? And, but, this 84 Capri has really good body panels on it, like, roof skin is mint. Rear quarters, tiny bit of rust, but just, like, pinhole rust, basically, which is perfect. I can just fill that in with a welder, no big deal, right? Um, I can, you know, that front clip is, like, rust-free, too, but, um, and... Yeah, but like something is that there'd be some mixing and matching of some parts. Because what I would actually end up doing is I'd be stealing the hood off the Capri. Whoa, semi truck, Jesus Christ, dude. Jeez. Came into my lane a little bit there. Scared me. some of that warm air down below because uh, my door doesn't seal like perfectly so I do get some air coming in like uh, specifically by like the door handle and like down low somewhere by the door uh, even though I've got new door seals in this car it's one of those deals the air still comes through liquid doesn't come through but the air comes through uh, but yeah like anyway so that, that car you know it, it's got like because <sighs> uh, like with the 84 Capri it's actually a car that if you look deep into my YouTube here, you will find videos of that car. It's an 84 Mercury Capri. It had an RS hood on it. It was a non-RS car. Um, and it was a 1984, so it had the bubble hatch. Right? And I've contemplated a few things with it, like, you know, of actually pulling parts off of it and using it on mine. But it still is Keith's car after all. And now, though, that we have kind of done this uh, sort of trade back and forth with, you know, the the Capri and then my old Mustang and stuff like that, that now I do wonder if I can just get that for like fairly cheap, you know, and do it that way. And then this car would get a full Capri front clip, it would get the, um, the functional RS scoop on the car, and it would have a few other things as well with it. So it might have like orange fenders with a gray hood and an orange front end on this car because I mean I can I can uh, basically like tackle the front clip of fixing it on the uh, the Polter because that's not a problem it's not really that rusty on the front fenders and shit so yeah uh, well there we go we're in olds now so yay this is fun so we got here at least not the worst but definitely not the best um, I definitely, you know, wouldn't recommend people to drive in conditions like this, but hey, I'm getting paid to do it. <laughs> so, 
still not a good reason there, folks, but when you're a broke bitch and you want car parts, you kind of have to just bite the bullet and do some shit like this. Because fuck me, this is awful. Like, genuinely, this is just awful. But it is what it is, right? Um, but yeah, so, you know, and then the Polter Merc, like, eventually down the road, I'd love to find one of those <laughs> unicorn uh, 200 inline six engines that actually has the starter mounted down low so that I can um, do small block Ford stuff. And what I mean by that, it's not swapping for a small block Ford, no, because why would I need that engine? Um, I can utilize, you know, like the, the bell housing pattern is the same, except for the two top bolts are different. You'd have to redrill the, um, the bell housing to match, but that's not a big deal. You can do that, or you can just say, screw it to those two top bolts. They're not necessarily necessary, because they're not security bolts at all, they're just extra insurance bolts, really. You know what's nice? Having a manual and not having to hit the brake, when in conditions like this especially, when you probably don't want to hit the brake. Jesus, this is just bad. I just hope, for the love of God, that these people tip, because <laughs> this is bad. Um, I mean, I'll still be making like 65 bucks on this trip, I think, because um, cause I think he quoted it was 130 bucks, which is not bad. So, it's not terrible. And hey, you can't even see the license plate on that Tacoma. And wait, that's a non-rusty Tacoma, what? Especially when it's been driven in, in conditions like this. How are you not rusty, sir? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Like, visibility here in Olds is even worse than it was on the highway. My God. Mio deal. And if you're wondering, that is um, Italian for my God. Jesus. This is just awful man like we thought this was a good idea to come out to olds for this blarg blarg but that's how it goes this dude with his uh, harley davidson truck beside me actually has his window open i wonder if he's smoking or what but because i wouldn't i don't know that's a diesel i can hear it i might be able to hear it on the thing too maybe But, um, yeah, no, I hope you all have enjoyed this kind of awful sort of uh, point of view drive. It's not my usual trip or self or whatever, because, I mean, there were spots where I'm like, this is a sketch. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm already fucking here, so. My car is not happy. It's starting to surge a little bit. No, no, don't you dare stall on me. Yeah, anyways, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.